So Edison uh, was diagnosed at 13 months with a condition called xeroderma pigmentosum. Patients with xeroderma pigmentosum have no ability to repair, the D their DNA means they have no ability to repair damage caused by UV. It's a genetic condition that's like something he won't grow out of. Um, we were first aware that there was an issue when about three months with very little exposure to the outside, he had excessive burning, had repeated episodes of that until eventually at 13 months we got a diagnosis from Guy's and St Thomas's of the condition. And then really it was just a kind of learning how to live and how to adapt our lifestyle to that. Having a, a diagnosis of xeroderma pigmentosum or XP is, it changes every aspect of your life. Um, just for Edison to leave the home, he has to have full factor 50 sun cream applied all over, he has to wear gloves, a visor with a plastic face um, covering, his clothing all has to be tested with a light meter to make sure that no light gets through the seams, so it's mostly lined clothes, anything with a heavy weave to make sure that the light doesn't get through. Before he was diagnosed, he actually burnt through a cotton top, so he's able to burn through a single layer of clothing, so quite a lot of care and attention has to go into planning what he's going to wear any given day. Obviously he gets very hot wearing that clothing so it limits the amount of time he can have outside. We've had to have our home specially adapted with a film on all of our windows which filters out UVA and UVB and we've had LED lights fitted throughout. So it's great, it means he can, you know, he can be completely safe in our home but what it does mean is that we can't go and visit friends. It's very difficult visiting family because not everybody's homes are safe. It usually involves putting up blackout curtains, cardboard boxes over windows, things like that. So it's quite hard work for him to be able to enjoy the company of other people in a different environment. Eating outside is very difficult if you're out for the day and you want to go and get a bite to eat. Generally he can't use a restaurant because he can't take his hat off or be safe in there. So he either has to eat under his hat and he's quite, come quite good at uh, developing ways of eating and drinking under his hat. Or we've got to be able to get him back to our car which is adapted, which is a safe space for him to eat and drink or go to the toilet. Um, so going anywhere takes quite, quite a lot of pre-planning.